Philippine beer or Filipino beer. Red Horse. And the classic one, Pale Pilsen. My husband friend, he's here. He's also a Dutch. So I bought this from a, an Asian store. Let's see what's their reaction. What's Dutch reaction about Filipino beer? So Niels, what do we have today? Uh, test a special beer from the Philippines. Uh, special beer from Hello, the Philippines. Jonas. Hello. Hi. I have a special Philippine beer for you. Oh wow. Oh. That I want you to try. Well. I know that Dutch are serious beer lovers. Yes. So I'm sure I'm gonna get a very honest review. Yes. Uh, from you guys. I'm ready. You ready? Yeah, we're we are ready. So first we try the mild one. Yeah, the mild one. That's uh, like I think this is the original. Yes. Pilsen. My character also a little bit mild. And this is also San Miguel. Yeah. Red Horse. It's Red Horse. It's from the same brewery, right? Yeah, same. Okay. San Miguel beer. Take Please. one. Wow. I also have Polutan. Polutan. <laughs> yeah. Filipino. Pale Pilsen. We say Sarap. Sarap? That's the wrong. First, Nastrovia. try it, then you, you say if it's Sarap. Okay. Mm. What do you think? It's a uh, little, little bit shut up, yes. It's a little bit sweet, this one. Sweet. Uh, this is a, a beer from the Philippines, which is already brewed for uh, 150 years. Yeah, 1850. 1850. So, as a Dutch guy, I would say, who loves Heineken in the Dutch brewery, this is a nice beer. For, oh, thank for you. starters. Uh, thank in you. Filipino, I think you say shut up. Yeah, masarap. Masarap. Very nice. Very Thank nice. you. Very well. nice. Sarap. Cheers. Cheers. Prost in Dutch. Prost. Prost. Best is to have a nice beer with a nice. Uh, yeah, we call it polutan, polutan in Philippines. Yeah. Polutan. No. Mm. Good combination with uh, our pale pilsen. Exactly. San Miguel. Exactly. So what do you think? What That kind of beer? Is it a summer, a winter or spring beer? I think this is a, like a summer beer because it's a little bit sweet. Mm -hmm. yes. I can uh, imagine myself uh, in a hammock on the beach. Yes. With a nice sun on my head. Yes. With a nice Filipino uh, lady next to me. Is, uh, how to say... Oh, uh, sorry, you forgot to introduce yourself. My name is My Niels. dear friend. My name is Niels. This is uh, my friend Dennis. Uh, my name is Dennis. We're both from the Netherlands. Yes. And testing. And you're Filipino both. Beer. Love yes. beer. We love beer. We love beer. We are typical Dutch guys who are work hard and love to drink beer after work. Work hard, play hard. And this beer is a summer beer, as Niels already said. You agree with him? I would say uh, it's a definite summer beer. Uh, it's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, it's a little bitter, like the Dutch beer. Yes. For starters, San Miguel is like the Heineken of the Holland. Oh, that's cool. By the way, uh, not everybody knows Heineken is from the Netherlands. Yes. It's the number two beer in the world. Yes. Yes, and number one in Europe. Number one in Europe, oh, of course. Yes. But in the end of the day, um, I would say San Miguel definitely hits a two point in my experience and a two point is a, a one point is a undrinkable beer and a two point is a drinkable beer mm -hmm. which means to say it's a summer beer which is um, accepted by the crew this is mm -hmm. very nice beer and if you if you're going to rate it from one to ten ten is the highest how would you rate that? I would rate this, Niels, how would you rate this? For a summer beer, I would rate this eight and a half. My and you? My opinion exactly, I would, give it a, I would give it a nine. In wow, summer beer. that's nice. We're lucky, it's summer, so. 
it's summer, a, but it just rained here in the well, Netherlands. Well, this is a Dutch summer. <laughs> Dutch summer. No sun. But we say... Summer. Sarap. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Prost. Nienende. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you bring for us today? Now, for the second beer, we have Red Horse. Holy extra strong. Moly. It's uh, 8%. I like extra strong. Okay. 330 milliliters. Yes. It's 8% of okay. alcohol. Let's just try it out because we are very curious about this beer. I'm so curious. Red Horse from the Philippines. Yep. Well, Niels. Yeah. Cheers. Prost. Prost. I hope it's uh, set up. Oh, yeah, or? I think it's uh, it hits the deeper level of uh, deeper top. level. Yes, I every level in my body I can feel. Really, yeah. So it's really strong. No, not too strong. It's uh, it's easy drinkable. It's very doable. Um, What's the strong? Well, how many percent is the strongest beer you ever? Normally, uh, a beer is like four point nine percent, five percent. And the strongest? This is eight percent. But uh, we have a Dutch and Belgian beer which is called Immediate Death, which is about 11%. <laughs> immediate Death. Immediate oh Death. My God. I like that too sometimes. But that's that's very, that very advisable. Yeah. When, you, when you're out of work and you yeah. don't like your manager, yeah. you drink immediate death. Just, just divorced. Yeah, you just divorced. You drink immediate death. You're a lonely guy. Is that the highest percent of a beer? That's the Ever highest brewed? 11.5. 11.5, yeah. This is uh, a medium. It, it, it says on the bottle strong beer, but it's for us it's very doable. It's this is um, sarap. Sarap as well. Sarap. Sarap. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Um, what do you think that beer? Is it for summer, winter, or? I think this is an all season beer. Yeah, me too. All season beer. This no. is an all season beer. Yeah. Yes. I think that's a good description. All season beer, red horse beer. It's very important in the Dutch beer culture is the foam. Oh yeah, what about it? Okay, the foam on the beer is a very important for us Dutch guys. So, we're now putting the red horse into a glass. Gently. Gently. Yeah. Just see how much it foams. In Holland, you need two finger of foam. Is it two finger? Is it? I think it's Perfect. less. Perfect. Is two finger. The foam is part of the sensation of drinking a beer. Exactly. Niels, cheers to you, mate. Shut up. Shut up. What? 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 What about if it's less than two fingers? Then you can. Uh, is it better? You or? throw it away. Throw it away. <laughs> no, not actually. No, no. You never throw. What's beer the importance away? of the foam? The importance of the foam is uh, it stems back from the 17th century mm -hmm. when we uh, discovered the world. And we conquered the world, Indonesia, Africa, everybody. Yeah. The foam was very important for the sea members to have a good drink. Mm -hmm. Because if your glass is fat, fat in the inside, yeah. you don't it's get foam. Greasy. 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 Yeah. You don't get the foam. If it's not greasy, you get the foam. So somebody in this household didn't clean the glass. Did not clean the glass properly. <laughs> <laughs> that's not me. That's no, that's me. Babe. That's probably the I'm machine. Sorry. I should have uh, done. Or that. it's the red horse. The red horse. But I think it's the glass. Because normally we drink straight out of a bottle because that's already in a glass. Yes. So we don't need a glass. Yes. Yeah. But now, for this uh, entertainment of the people. Yes. In the world. Yes. So how would you or rate from one? To, how yes. would you rate from one to ten? I would rate this for a normal, uh, normal every season kind of beer, a nine. I would say, because it's not foaming up on the glass correctly, I would say seven and a half. Seven and a half. So, average, eight and point your final three point two. <laughs> well, our final judgment is, let's go to the Philippines and tell them how to make beer. Yes. And? Taste some more beer. 
Yes. But by the way, San Miguel they have a lot of variety, but unfortunately they have only two kinds available okay. here in the. Here is a store. shout out to the San Miguel Brewery in the Philippines. Send us new samples so the Dutch beer guys, Neil and Dennis, can taste it and make a very good judgment on it because we're honest and yeah exactly and clean and we like it yes so and between pale pilsen and red horse which one you like most well news i would go i ahead. would vote the red horse the red horse in the summer and why the high temperature in the sun i would take one or two uh Yes. Pale Pilsner, mm -hmm. but for normal situations, summer or winter, I would choose the Red Horse. But I like them both. We like much. them both. And I'm, uh, I can't wait to... Uh, I'm waiting to try for more the other dis beers. Dis ...distributor to send us more uh, beer. I would say, sorry news, I'm in there, but I would say if you are a brewery and you want to make more Red Horse, compliable to the European taste, please make sure you ferment it less. Mm -hmm. That's all. And w uh, between the two, which one you like most? I would like the San Miguel more. They're both San Miguel company. Yes. You mean the Pale Pilsen? The, the, the first Pale Pilsen is the Pale number one. I think that's the original one. Yes, that will be very nice. Yes. You like that more? I like that more. I like the red horse yes. more. So, in the end of the day, uh, what's the comparison between the red horse and San Miguel? Yeah. He likes more the red horse, I like more the San Miguel. So in the end of the day, we are here from Holland saying welcome to you, Philippines, and cheers to you. Sarap. Thank you so much. Sarap. Dankjewel. Alsjeblieft.